New this morning, cracking the code on crime. Technology increasingly being used by law enforcement agencies. One example in the case against former high school teacher and swim coach James Russell Green. He was sentenced earlier this year for sexually assaulting and exploiting children when he secretly videotaped. The FBI's regional forensic computer lab in Kansas City was instrumental in that case. Consumer investigative reporter Kat Reed got a rare look at their technology. These days, more than 80% of Americans are walking around with a ton of data right in the palms of their hands. Smartphones are proving useful to the FBI. They can be analyzed at a state-of-the-art facility here in Kansas City or even on the go. This is a mobile lab we can take on site. Technology that can travel straight to the scene of the crime. We can hook up people's phones. We can get into computers. Five computers on four wheels deployed all over Kansas and Missouri. It's especially useful in cases where a company has been hacked. We can bring this van out there, get a digital copy of everything that they have, bring it back to our lab and examine it further without having the victim company uh, be uh, disturbed in any way. At the heart of America Regional Forensic Computer Lab, Director Sarah Lucas says the top crimes they're working on are homicides, then violent crimes, gang activity, and crimes against children and exploitation. We have detectives that have worked basically every type of violation in their in their previous life as detectives and now they can bring that knowledge base to the exams that we do here. Lucas wants people to realize just how much data is in their lives from phones to smart TVs and even smart refrigerators. We want them to keep their data safe and to protect themselves but then we're also here for law enforcement to get that evidentiary um, material um, to help solve crime. Reporting in Kansas City, I'm investigator Kat Reed, 41 Action News Today. Now, the computer lab works with local law enforcement to solve crimes and also offers training to police like basic Internet investigations.